Boo hoo hoo, boo hoo hoo, boo oh. hoo hoo, boo hoo. <laughs> it goes on and on. I need an idea, boss. I think we need to cheer him up, yes. Mm. Otherwise, Christmas could be cancelled. <gasps> Shirley, get that satellite dish on your head. We need to get in touch with Lapland mm. again. Mm. I think we're going to need your help after Give Me a Break. Boo hoo hoo, <laughs> boo hoo hoo, boo hoo hoo, boo hoo hoo. is Give Me A Break, the show where the kids take control of the family holiday. On Give Me A Break, the kids have all the say. They decide where they go, what activities they do, and most importantly, they're in charge of the holiday rules. Today's family who are going to get a break of this lot. The Brooks family. Oh, Bossy banker dad. Ambulance. Cheeky ambulance controller mum. Ten-year-old Joseph. Eight-year-old Daniel and six-year-old Jacob. So why do these three lads need to be given a break? Our dad always um, organises it and he always wants to go on warm places. I'd hate a cold holiday. And he chooses everywhere we go without us saying. Cyprus, Spain, um, Greece. The worst holiday was when we went to Cornwall camping. That much of water in the kids' um, tent, isn't there? The water just comes in, animals come in. It's terrible. When the sun came out, it was beautiful. Every morning, she gets the gel out and does her hair. When we like on holiday, she puts it up even if we're just going to go in the pool. I gel the hair and sort their hair out in the morning because I want them to look smart for the day. But you do it in the morning, in the afternoon, in the night. My mum sees like a shoe shop or a clothes shop. She just goes in. Last holiday in Cyprus, she bought about, oh, about 15 shoes. Mm -hmm. If I couldn't shop for a week, I'd have the shakes. <laughs> We've got some serious family holiday problems, and there's only one way to solve it, and that's by handing over control of the family holiday to you three. What do you think? Yeah. Yeah? Sounds good? Yeah. yeah. I thought you might say that, and that means, Mum and Dad, it's time for the parents' promise. Hands on hearts and read out that. We, the parents, the parents of Joseph, Joseph Daniel, Daniel and Jacob, hereby hand over control, control of the next family holiday. holiday. I don't think that you yeah. two enjoyed that, but I think that you three did. Does that sound good? Yeah! Bring it! Jacob, who is in control? Us! Wonderful. Which means, Mum and Dad, if you'd like to go inside and don't come out here listening to us, because we need to talk holidays, all right? Now let's get in! Go on. Go on, get rid of them. Right, you three, this is now your chance, without your Mum and Dad around, to tell me precisely what you want from a holiday. Well, I want to go somewhere different and um, do climbing, skiing and go to more water parks. Do you want to go somewhere hot or cold? Hot. Seeing a bear. Hold on a minute, you're putting the pressure on here, seeing a bear. What do you think? Do you want to see a bear, Jacob? Yeah, because I want to put Daniel's head off. <laughs> no, you, no, you don't. Look, put your stick down. Let's talk about holidays. Hey, now, your brothers have mentioned skiing. How do you feel about going skiing? Yeah. Why? Because I haven't been skiing. OK, so you've never done that before. <laughs> What's that? Mum! Where? Go away! Go! Uh, Go away, shut the window! Mum, you're not allowed to listen to this part of the day. Close the window. I need some fresh air. Jacob, how naughty is your mum? Naughty! Very naughty, which means when you make the rules for the holiday, what can you do? Uh, boss her around. You can boss her around, precisely. <laughs> so I've heard what they'd like, and I've got three amazing holidays to choose from. But I'm not going to let them pick one just yet. They're going to have to try and work out what their break choices are from a collection of cryptic clues. And first off, the boys are having trouble getting Joseph into a harness. But mind you, it can't help wearing goggles, can it? Well, maybe bungee jumping. But where? Well, it could be France, Austria, Switzerland. <laughs> I think we're going to be skiing and uh, climbing because of the goggles and the harness. OK, got a clue. Bear in mind what you'll find at the end of the Rockies Road. Bear, bear must be those yeah. bear prints. What's this? Squirrel! It looks like maple syrup. 
Oh, that stinks! We Put our <laughs> hands in something like maple syrup. Yeah, and, and it was well. horrible. I mean, it's a flag. It's a flag. <laughs> we think that's Canada's out because wrapped over the bowl was a Canada flag. They're off to a restaurant for break number two, but there's something very odd on the menu. <laughs> Tennis ball. <laughs> How how bull the castanet Caesar said um hola. So it might be Spanish. Would mum and dad like to be served this hol holiday? Probably Spanish for holiday. The serve means they serve the bull. Holding the cow. Oh, I think we might be helping a farmer milk his cows or her and we might go and see a tennis match. <laughs> the boys weren't waiting around for the clues to their final break. <laughs> Wear the blindfold and follow the sound. With well, the horse it means horse riding. So I think we're going horse riding somewhere. So listen to the sound. Hey. Sounds like a fork horse. That sounds like on my feet. I think we're near it. Yeah, it's an, it's it. an axe. This is cold. Wait a minute. It feels like ice. Oh. Cold place. What is? I think the um, holiday is going to be cold. This is a Viking's helmet because I, I know the shape of this. I think the holiday is going to be about rowing in a boat because I know Vikings all cross the sea in boats. Where do cavemen come from? That's it, clues over. Have the boys guess the breaks on offer though, and which one will they choose? Did you enjoy trying to work out what your breaks were? Yeah. 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 So what do we think break number one might be? Canada. Yeah, all three of you are very clever because you guessed it right. Do you want to have a look at break number one? Yeah. Which is a winter sports adventure in Canada. Take a look at this, have a look. You could be jetting off to the Rockies, famous for grizzly bears, amazing powder skiing, and how about trying out husky sledding? Oh, look at that, man. You said cold? Yeah. You said bears? Yeah. I've got it sorted, right? Yeah. So first impressions, could that be a potential winner? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, well, it's time to crank up the pressure and talk about break number two, because you've got a big decision to make today. Would you like to find out about break number two? Yes. yes. What about if I told you that break number two is a sports adventure break Come on. in Spain, yes. hey? Have a look. Are you the next Andy Murray? Find out with some top tennis coaching at a resort in southern Spain. And Dad can leave his walking boots behind as you could all be off-road mountain biking. Yes. What do we think? Amazing. I really well. want to do it. So I absolutely love sports. Well. So what do you reckon break number three might be, boys? A trip in Norway on the big boat. Why do you think a big boat? Because the Vikings, the Vikings used to ride boats. You're kind of half right and you're kind of half wrong because break number three is a Viking experience in Iceland. This could be your ticket to off-road driving across the wilderness, riding Icelandic horses and relaxing in the volcanic waters of the Blue Lagoon. You three have got a big decision to make. I'll come back in a few minutes to find out which one you've chosen, all right? Good yeah. luck, Jacob. Good luck, boys. Joseph and Jacob want Iceland, but Dan is hooked on Canada. The big decision comes down to the toss of a coin. It's tails. OK, then, boys, come on, budge up, Jacob. Let me in. It is decision time. Tell me, which break have you gone for? Iceland. Oh, I went with the tails in Iceland, so you're very happy. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah very happy indeed. Well, lads, I've got one last thing to tell you, and it's very important. At the end of your holiday, you'll get the chance to play for one last brilliant treat. What is the treat? <gasps> However, well, you'll find out on your holiday, but if you get the challenge that I set you wrong, your parents win the treat. <laughs> so there it is, the Viking experience in Iceland. Not exactly the sunny beach holiday the Brooks are used to, but then again, this isn't the usual way the Brooks choose their holidays. But how will Dad cope not being the one in charge? How will Mum feel in the cold? And who will win the final treat? 
With their break just one day away and mum and dad still none the wiser on where they're going, it was up to the boys to pack. They'll just break into fights and rolling around and mucking around and um, so their attention span will probably be two minutes at max. Oh no! I would feel absolutely awful that I would have to go on holidays with no makeup. What's this? Will that help you do the lipstick? Nice. Probably just laughing at the stuff that's in my drawer. Yeah, go on, you'll make it look funny. You like it? Good for outside, especially in the cold. I'm just hoping that those children have not thrown it all in because I have been up till one, two o'clock in the morning this week ironing all the clothes. I see no is it. I always oh, pack my suitcase. I don't even trust Sean to pack my suitcase. Oh, bad. I like it really tidy, organised, so I can get something really quickly. I'll get it to sit down. I think you might have a shock. Hmm? If the boys are going to get the family to the airport on time, they've got to take the driving seat. Not literally, though, Jacob. <laughs> At the airport, Mum and Dad still don't know where they're going, and with blindfolds and headphones on, there's no chance of finding out. Did you pack your bags yourselves? <laughs> OK. <laughs> Yes, that's right, Mum. You're on a plane. And someone's got a message for you. Joseph, Tatiana Chakov are taking you on... Uh, uh, give me a break. Uh, packing experience to Iceland. So there you go. Mum and Dad know they're off to Iceland. And even though it's quite cold there, Mum seems rather pleased. Come on, boys. Pucker up for a kiss. <laughs> Hopefully my children have packed enough clothes for me to be nice and warm. I hope that there's some extra socks being put in. I guess I'm just going to be walking up mountains and nope, through nope. the snow and making nope. snowmen. Nope. It only takes three hours to fly to Reykjavik, the capital of Iceland, and despite its name, Iceland isn't actually covered in ice. The Vikings chose the name because they visited one of the many icy glaciers first. And when they land, the Brooks head straight from the airport to their hotel with their trusty Gimme a Break fam cam to capture special holiday moments like a mad viking. Welcome to the Viking Willets. Come out of the bus. <laughs> There's nothing to laugh about. Hurry up! You follow me, come on. One life. Come, come, hurry up. The people here in the hotel wow. want to sleep as well, so you behave, OK? Yeah. I will see you in the morning. If you thought that was scary, Mum and Dad, Take a look at what the boys have packed for you. <laughs> what have I got your father's shoes in you? What have you got my work's tie for? Uh, nice to see you've packed everything. Mum, have you got any hand luggage? Just a little bag. Can I, can, can I check? Yeah. Um, uh, what is Unbelievable. This? Five minutes in Iceland and Mum's been caught out already. The boys were in charge of packing. And what are these? <laughs> you might be controlling this holiday. I'm still, forfeit. I'm still forfeit. your mother. Do you Where's the forfeit then? You find out later. Do you want me to spell it out for you? No. F O R. Come on. Well, you might not be able to spell forfeit, Joseph, but you're right. Mum deserves one of them. Yeah. I thought my kids knew me and I thought they knew what I wore, and none of the stuff in that case is what I wear. My ambulance service tie. They put that in. They put in a bather. And my summer crocs. Iceland. <laughs> and to cap it all, I've got my little running vest when I go across a glacier <laughs> later on. When we go on holidays, we have to put your stuff away when we unpack. So who's going to put ours away? Because we're in control. We tell you what to do. Well, it's not fair. It's not normal. <laughs> Next day, Dad's pleased to find snow and doesn't waste any time getting his own back for having to tidy up the room. But time for the boys to remind the parents who's in charge. Hello, guys, it's me. Uh... I hope the Vikings have given you a warm welcome. Now, in case you'd forgotten, of course, Mum and Dad, the boys are in charge of the Give Me A Break holiday rules. And brace yourselves, because here they come. Go on, on if you have to. Go on. 
Rule number one. Now, Mum, the boys know that you don't just buy the old souvenir from holiday, you are a shopaholic. Therefore, their rule is that you're allowed to buy one item for the whole break. One thing. Yep, one thing. You will do it. Ah, but you could. What do you think, shall I? No. no. I like the idea of her buying only one thing. <laughs> rule number two. Dad, the boys are bored by your long walks, so on this break, you get to go on one walk and the boys decide how long it will be. Right, so let me get this right now then. What is the longest amount of time I can walk for? 15 minutes. 15? <laughs> yeah. That's just, but that's not fair. 50 minutes. Rule number three. Mum, you're forever spiking the boys' hair up with gel, even before they go swimming. So on this break, the rule is you're not allowed to meddle with their hair at all. <laughs> all right, guys, well, I'll be back in a few days to tell you all about your chance to play for an amazing treat. But for now, have a great holiday. I don't think the rules are fair at all, because how am I going to survive in five days with only going for one 15-minute walk? It's second nature to me to um, put my hand up to do their hair, so um, it's going to be really hard. And if mum and dad disobey them, there's going to be big consequences. Right, on with the break, and the boys wanted action. So how about some off-road, ice-cold jeep driving? OK, we're in charge, so we get to choose who's going to be driving. Mummy! Mummy! Now, the rules are simple. Mum just has to follow Yon's Jeep. How hard can that be? OK, Mum, please turn on your lights. It's uh, best for me to see you. That means what? That he can't see anything. How does he actually know where he's going? Do we know Mama. where we're going? What gear do you reckon I'm in there? Not a slightest idea. So, boys, how do you think Mum is getting on with driving? We haven't got our first gear yet. <laughs> I think I'm doing all right. I think I'm a 10 out of 10. We are going to the river because we no, need to not. cross the river. No, we're not. <laughs> I'm not going on the no river. Uh, yes, you are, Mum. That's yes. exactly what you're doing. Oh, God, I'm going to drip. No. He's got something wrong with him, I tell you. Come on, young. He's no. going! No! Yes, yes, watch it. No! No, no, I, I really need to go for a wee. <laughs> no! <laughs> no! I'm not going in there! No! 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 Take your time. Use your brain. Use your brain. Use your brain. Use your brain. Let the vehicle come down and then it was just like one massive bump. And I feel sorry for the person that was actually in the bus. Yeah, my head's all right. It's the other end that's a problem. Mummy's driving was 10 out of 10. I think the rating of Mummy's driving is 7. I think it's 10. Definitely. It's brilliant. We're not going back that way though, are we? And after Mum's impressive driving, the boys choose a more relaxing way to spend the afternoon in one of Iceland's thermal spas. You know, maybe those swimming things are going to come in handy after all. Mum deserved to be pampered because she drove in the snow on the off-road driving and she got a bit stressed out, but she's still done it. Tip it all over her face. Yeah! Give it all over. No! <laughs> <laughs> I love my kids. I don't think yeah. Mum's going to meddle with our hair because she's already got one forfeit and our forfeits are really gruesome. They're just going to have to look after it today because I don't think I can afford any more forfeits, can I? Can I give you a tip? Sort yes. your own hair out first. <laughs> The following morning, the Brooks family's Viking adventure continues on Iceland's famous pocket-sized horses. 
Today, Icelandic horses are used for racing. Yeah. I've ridden more camels than I have horses, to be honest. <laughs> Mommy! Why did you try to get on backwards? <coughs> oh, got a bit fast for me, eh? Iceland's always had loads of birds and sea life, but before the Vikings, there was only one land mammal, the Arctic fox. <laughs> I'm going to have a sore bum tomorrow. Probably the most scared going into it, but at the end of it, um, I felt pretty comfortable and, uh, um, and it was nowhere near as bad as the camel was. What's I kept doing up and down like that? <laughs> Mom, when I was doing that, you, you were laughing too much. You and me fell off. <laughs> Should we all have a conversation? <laughs> like yeah. Well, Dad might have been worried about the horse riding at the start, but I think the whole family had a great time. <laughs> The boys decided to give Mum and Dad the afternoon off and Mum ended up shopping in Iceland's capital city, Reykjavik. But the boys were watching her every move. Want anything? No, I'm looking. You can buy anything from Viking clothes to shoes made of fish skin, but can Mum resist buying more than one thing? It depends on uh, how much it is. Mm. I haven't got my credit card on me either. Let's do it has. It's expensive to shop in Iceland as most things need to be imported from the rest of Europe. The currency is called Krona, and by the look on Dad's face, Mum spent quite a lot. Mum gets so distracted by the shopping she forgets about the rules. Mum, what are you doing? I don't think she's going to get away with that. No, I do it. No, I do it. No, I do it. No, I do it. Forfeit. Automatically. Forfeit. You said. Jacob got his hands on a Viking hat just like mine, but while he and Dad left Mum alone, look what happened. No, you won't! No, Sean, you're, you're having a good. Just a few things. A few things? Mum, you're having a bad day. Thank you. You're in now, huh? Thank you. Get off. Now, what's in here? Shopaholic. I can't help it. Forfeit. Forfeit could never be as bad as um, having to give up shopping. Mum's broken the rules, so she's going to pay. But what will the boys decide? You you used to take us to boring old restaurants. Today, we are going to take you to a restaurant we want to go to. And we are going to choose what you're eating, Mum. So it's the family's final night, and to wrap up their Viking experience, the boys have chosen a Viking feast. But there's something special on the menu for Mum. This is the ultimate forfeit. Mum, you have broken three rules, so you have a punishment. One, you've done a hair. Two, you pack clothes without asking us. And three, she buys loads of stuff. <laughs> this is for you. <laughs> <laughs> this is the hour. Oh you my god, it's the head of somebody. Lamb's head. We have brought here a plate with old traditional Viking food. Now we are going to explain for you what you are going to eat. <laughs> oh, yes. This is dry fish, very healthy. This is the stuff that makes the Icelandic man famous as lovers. It is the testicle of the lamb. Here you have a smiling head of a sheep. He's not smiling at me, is he? Everybody has to try. You want to try the eye? No! <laughs> Can you get the eye out for my mum? No! Yeah, no! Thank you, thank no! you very much. Thank you. <laughs> oh, my... No, no, no. Oh, oh, yeah, you eat it. Come yeah, on, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> well, I hope it tasted better than it smells. <laughs> You have to eat one of, one of everything. No, I have Yeah, you have to. No, oh. no to the testicle. What's that bit sticking Oh, Mum, you're not going to do it, are you? Eat no. it. Oh, that's a bit of a worm or something there, no? Oh, well no, yeah. it's, it's, it's a vein. I gave it. It's a vein. Don't worry about it. I'll show you another book. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> She's going to do it. She is. Oh, Mum. <laughs> Oh, quick, how did that taste? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, my God. Have I really eaten that? I'm not kidding you ever again now. I don't blame you, Daniel. I wouldn't kiss your mum after that. 
I couldn't swallow it. It just wouldn't go down properly. <laughs> I thought my mum was absolutely bonkers to eat all that. By the end of the holiday, it was very hard to actually stick to those rules, and I knew I had to pay the price, and tonight I have. Well, Mum rose to the challenge, but now the pressure's on the boys. As the family stand at Gulfos Waterfall on the final day of their break, their big moments arrived. Will they win the treat riding with top skidoo riders across one of Iceland's vast glaciers? OK, Joseph, Daniel, Jacob, this is it. Time to play for one last amazing treat. Now, I'm about to ask you three questions. Get two of them right and you win the treat. Get two wrong and it's your mum and dad who win the treat. Good luck. Here we go with question one. What did your mum say was her most memorable moment of the break? Was it A, eating the Icelandic food forfeit, or B, driving the jeep into the river? The answer is B, dri driving the big jeep into the river. OK, guys, you're saying B, driving the jeep into the river. Here's what your mum said. The most memorable moment of this holiday has got to be driving the jeep into the river. Yes! Fantastic start. Well done, boys. And that means if you get the next question right, the treat is all yours. OK, question two. How did your dad describe the holiday? Did he say A, never a dull moment, or B, Scary. A. A. Go to the A. Okay. OK, guys, I'm going to have to push you for an answer. The answer is A. Never a dull moment. OK, you're going with A, never a dull moment. Here's what your dad said. Um, never a dull moment. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> and they've done it. The boys can saddle up and have the adrenaline fuel trip of a lifetime. Well done, lads. lovely to spend some time doing the most amazing activities that you wouldn't dream of ever doing. We spent the whole of this holiday together. You can't exchange that for anything. That was awesome. Hello, Ed Naucho here. And before Give Me A Break, we got an email from Santa saying that he's sad. <sighs> Poor Dundas. Again. Shirley, put that satellite dish on your head and put a suit of Lapland. Hello, children. I'm Santa Claus. Merry Christmas, or Happy Halloween, or Merry National Pencil Day. It's all the same. It's all essentially meaningless. Oh, I'm so unhappy. Oh, boo, oh, oh. And that's why I need your help. Please email in with lovely things that might put a smile on my face. I'll give you an example. Last year, I was in the park and a little puppy came up to me and he was jumping up and I thought, oh, isn't he lovely? Ho, ho, ho! I didn't realise he'd done a big poo on the floor. I walked in that and ended up treading it into 10,000 living rooms! Oh, poo, ho, ho! It's not very professional of me, is it? But please, Please try and cheer me up by emailing in to cbbc at bbc.co.uk. 
Oh, otherwise I might cancel Christmas! <laughs>